Hello, hello, hello. Welcome to IT TV. I'm Shivani and I'm going to be your teacher today for maths. And today we are going to do whole numbers. Do you know who Tun Dr. Mahade is? Yes, he is our former Prime Minister and when he was the Prime Minister, he actually envisioned Malaysia to have a population of more than 35 million people by the year 2020. Do you know what's the population in Malaysia now, today? Hmm, I have some graphics for you. Let's have a look. The chart shows the statistics are the amount of children that are born, the amount of teenagers that are here and also the older ones. As you can see from the chart, the ages from 15 to 64 is the most. Okay, let's move on now to whole numbers. Okay, whole numbers at your level, you would be learning the seven digit, which is million. Yes, you're right. Now, let's see how we pronounce the millions, okay? You have in front of you, as you can see the chart shows, 1,654,327. Simple, right? Not that difficult. Let's move on to another example. Let's see now. 4,205,578. Simple, right? You just need to add the millions in front and the remainder is what you learn in standard 4 and standard 5. Okay, shall we move on to some exercises? Of course, you need to do exercises. Without them, you never get perfect. Write the following in words. Okay, the first one, 6,784,320. Now, how do we do this? Simple. Write 6 million, L-L-I-O-N, 784,320. Got it? Let's try another one. Okay, you have the numbers there. And they are 5 million, 210,008. Let's write it down now. 5,210,008. Yeah, it's a much shorter one. Did you get that? Alrighty then. Let's do the reverse now. Write the following in numerals. 4,300,200. 60. Right. Now, we start with the 4 because it's the 4 million followed by 300,000. So, how many zeros are there? Yes, two zeros behind the 3. Very good. Now, followed by 260. So, what do you write? 260. Very good. Okay, shall we try another one? Yes. Let's try this. Write the following in numerals. 1,030,955. Yes, you have one. Yes, you have zero. Three zero followed by 955. Simple, right? Because you didn't have the, yes, 100,000 there. All right then. Very good children, I'm very happy with your results. Let's move on now to place values. Place values are very important. You'd be using this in future chapters in Standard 6 and Form 1 and Form 2. So please concentrate. Alrighty then. What are place values? Well, place values determines the value of the digit. So if you had a 100,000 number and 1 was in the 100,000 place, and it would be? Yes, 100,000. Okay, now let's look at this example. In standard 4, you'd learn up to the 10,000 place value. 
I have here with me the digits. Let's read it together. 35,578. Very good. Now, in standard 5, what did you do? Yes, you did the 100,000. Now, how would you read this number? Shall we do it together? Alrighty then. 638,491. Very good, children. Now, in standard 6, like I mentioned earlier, you'd be doing the million. Yes, it's an extra figure in front of the 100,000. So, a million has how many zeros? Six. Yes, a million has six zeros. Okay, shall we do an example? Okay, let's read it together, all right? 5,638,491. Okay? Mm. Now, I have here with me, how shall I say? Do you know what these are? M&Ms. Exactly. Interesting, right? Okay. Can you read all of this? Yes, we have ones. This is the tens. This is the hundreds. This is the thousands. This is the ten thousand. This is the hundred thousand. And this is the millions. Now, let's look. How much do you have there? Actually, there's only one. Then we have nine inside of the tens. We have how many? Four. Yes, four, correct. And in the thousands, we have eight. Okay? Next one. Ten thousand. Can you count that? Yes, three. And inside here, how many? One, two, three, four, five, six. So we have six inside the hundred thousand. Okay, how much is this? One, two, three, four, five. We have five inside the million container. Very good. So, a question, a quick one, okay? I'm taking the ten thousand. And there are three here. So how much is this? Thirty thousand. And now we go to the big one. Million. We have Five here. Yeah? How much is it? Five million. Very good. So, in total, how would you read it as? Five million, six hundred and thirty-eight thousand, four hundred and ninety-one. Yes. Very good, children. I'm very impressed with you all. Now, if you look at the graph or the graphic that I've given you, you would see that I've written there five times one million. So remember what I told you earlier on? Yes, the value of it, five million. That's why you times it with one million. So if it's in the hundreds, you times it with hundred. If it's in the ten thousand, you type it in the yes, you times it by ten thousand. Okay, that's how you get the value of the digit. Understand? Now remember, it's very important, so if you need to take it down or take a note down, please make sure you do. Okay, let's try a quick question then. Let's look at the question. Find the place value for the digit 8 in the following. Okay, the first one. Now, how many 8s do you have in the first question? Yes, you have two. So the first digit, 8 Yes, yes, very good. It's in the 10th place value or 10,000th place value. So, its value is 80,000. Very good. What about the second digit, 8? Yes, it's in the 100th place value or 100,000th place value. Hence, the value is 800,000. Okay, let's move on to the next one. All right? How many digits of 8 do you have here? 2. Okay, the first one. You can see it's in the 10. So, its value is 80. And the last one. Its value is in the? Yes, millions. Alrighty then. So, the value of the second 8 is 8 million. Alrighty then.
Before I go, I'd like to share with you a small secret that I have. Usually, during exam time, many of you all get very tensed up, right? And when you're tense, your brain does not function well. So what do you need to do? You need to learn to relax. Now, the best way to relax is to breathe. I know, it's a bit unbelievable, but it's true. Breathing sends a lot of oxygen inside the brain and a lot of blood flow flows in. So now, say during the exam, you're answering a question and you feel very tense, very tight. So you take a deep breath. Okay, put the pencil down, take a deep breath. Inhale and exhale. Inhale and exhale a few times and see how you feel. You'll start feeling a bit more relaxed. And if you feel the body is still tense, continue breathing until you're ready. And something inside you, your own body intelligence will tell you you're ready to answer the question. Okay? In that way, you don't lose all the hard work that you've done and you'll definitely get an A. Okay, now we're going to do a recap. Let's see, what did we do today? Yes, we did whole numbers involving the millionth number which is 7 digits. Again, 7 digits. Alright, and then we did? Yes, we did place values. And now remember, place values, very important for following chapters and form 1 and form 2. Alrighty then. Did you get that? Okay. Now we come to the most interesting session. The brain teaser. Yes. It's called the brain teaser. Okay then. Why is it called a brain teaser? Well, it challenges your mind to think outside of the box. Shall we go to the question then? Are you ready? Alright. Have a look at it. Okay, a firefighter stood on the middle rung of a ladder, spraying water on a burning house. He then climbed up six rungs before the heat of the flames caused him to come down ten rungs. Okay, what's the question? After some minutes, he was able to climb 18 more rungs. How many rungs did the ladder have? Got it? How many rungs? Do you know what rungs are? Ah, have you seen a ladder before? Yes. You know that middle part where you actually put your foot on to climb up? Yes, those are called rungs. So, read the question carefully. You want a tip? Okay, since it's the first lesson, I'll give you a tip. Now, the tip or the word is middle rung. Okay, use that and see what you get. Alrighty then. What? You want the answers today? Uh-uh, I'm sorry children. You have to wait for the next class. Okay then, have a good day. Until I see you again, adios.